So now that you have, uh, and long story short, uh, I'm keep. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this uh, paper moving because I don't want anyone to see what it says per se. But you want to put a notice of a frivolous claim. So if you have, uh, you know, some stuff going on that you want to charge back, then you can charge it back, put it on the record, and then you can make a counterclaim against anyone who puts a frivolous claim against you. So in my uh, in my situation, it was the courts. You know, I mean, no one was the injured party. No one uh, could sign as the owner. No one was the owner. They didn't want to discuss the facts of the case. That's that's what their rebuttal was. We don't have to discuss the facts in this case. That's the rebuttal that I got. So that pretty much says, yeah, we were guilty. And then they were like, if you don't find an attorney to represent you, because we can't have you in here, uh, if you can't find an attorney, don't worry about it. <laughs> so that's pretty much saying, like, look, we're, we're fucked up. So just get on out of here and don't come back. That's pretty much what they said. But that's when I'm like, you know what? I need to get my money, you know? Because I have a claim here. I have damages, huh? I've, I've got damages, huh? Von damage. So, uh, I, uh, you know, file a, a counterclaim. You know, you do this for your traffic tickets, whatever. And this is not legal advice or whatever because there's no such thing as legal advice coming from a legal walk in fiction. I would only be an attorney in fact because I am alive and I turn my own credits because I am a creditor and I do my own credits and the turn is to turn over money by definition and to be an attorney in fact would to be a person who turns over some money and that's it. So know that. I don't wear these all the time. This is just for us. show, you know. It's for show and conspicuousness. But uh, yeah, I love the sun. But the anywho, when battling anyone, the courts, the whatever, I like to fucking put out counterclaims because that means your ass is gonna get paid. Now, as I was saying, there's no easy way to do it. There's no fucking easy way to do anything when it comes to it. It takes steady and perseverance, understanding knowledge, um, all those things. And it takes years to gain all that knowledge and to learn because no one is going to hold your hand and no one's going to teach you. So if you want to do this stuff for real and to be true and honest, make a counterclaim. You know what I mean? Put it on the record. Make it for real. And uh, now you're ready to click. You put this up. Three days later, 30 days later, it goes into default. Mine's three days. Uh, according to the satanic law merchants, merchant codes, uh, mine is set at three days because, you know, I have, uh, they want me to uh, not worry about the trial, but they do have a date set in which I'm kind of like, okay, well, I don't have an attorney and I don't want an attorney because that makes you an infant. And I'm not that, I'm the creditor, so... Yeah, I know. So, as I was saying, make a counterclaim. Don't just let them go against you. You you go on the you know you go out there. You go on the attack. You let them know, hey man, this is bullshit. You know, and uh, and you establish the ground rules for your own invokement of your rights to the your own republic. You know what I mean? So you got to set up ground rules. You're the boss. You're the one that's in charge. So you have to let them know. And, and you know, and they're just trustees. So they're going to, they want to, they want you to teach them how, how to operate and how you function as your own, uh, your own human self creditor in the bankruptcy. All right. File a counterclaim. Part four coming soon. Stay awake.